So CMOD, the atmosphere was, you know, about discovery. You would show up and every day would be a different experiment. It was dynamic, it was fun, it was team. Uh, and then if you weren't doing that that day, you were thinking about what the next upgrade to do was, the next thing to really push the boundary forward, make the machine better, uh, get more out of it was. That last day of CMOD operations uh, was something I will remember forever. People's reactions varied, but I think we all went through all the different end stages of grief. It was, you know, some mix of like celebration because we like broke some records that day, but also some amount of sadness that the machine was ending because we had so much uh, good work done with it, but also kind of ready for what was to come next. Um, and there was definitely the sense of like, okay, you know, this, this chapter is ending, but something is coming next. In addition, it was a, it was a period of uh, self-reflection, trying to really think about, okay, why did we get into Fusion? What are we doing here? Is it to operate a single machine for forever, or is it to go on and build the next thing? And so it was kind of, that was one of the main catalysts. I think one of the key pieces that we learned is that sometimes you have to just build the thing. <laughs> I'm really excited to use all the pieces of Spark that everyone has been working on together. Turning machine on and getting to learn firsthand uh, what this machine that we've spent so much time building, how it's going to behave and how it's going to operate. The most exciting thing is that we're doing something that's going to change the world. To go to Spark, to turn it on, to show this net energy, but then to know that the next step is a power plant. And when we turn Spark on, the entire world is going to know.